Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Where do you feel it in the body? Does deep breathing feel good? If it doesn't, you can change. You can do a shorter breathing, more shallow, heavier, even heavier or longer. Fast, slow. Try to see what rhythm of breathing feels good for the body right now. Because the breath is like medicine. It's good for the body and good for the mind. In terms of the body, as you breathe through the body, you think of the breath as a whole body process. Because when the Buddha talks about breath, it's not the air coming in and out of the lungs. It's the flow of energy in the body, through the nerves, through the blood vessels. And it only stands to reason when the energy is flowing well throughout the body, then the different organs will function well. So make a survey of the body. See which parts of the body are tense right now and see if you can relax them. Relax your wrists, relax your ankles. Everything from the head down to the toes. And think of the breath bathing the whole body. As John Lee says, the breath is the, the medium by which your mindfulness then can then do good for the body. And because mindfulness is working together with the breath, it's going to be good for the mind, too. It's also medicine for the mind, because the mind goes through the world and it's attacked by all kinds of things, both inside and out. Events outside and the mind's own greed, aversion, and delusion. It needs time to heal. And so with the breath, you give it a time to heal by focusing on the breath, that act of mindfulness and alertness, as you make it bright and steady here in the present moment. Is going to be good for the mind. Ordinarily, we think whatever thoughts we want to think, and they run us ragged. As we try chasing them down, we can never quite catch them, and then they run away. We wear ourselves out, and so the mind needs time to rest and be fully aware right here in the present moment. Think of your awareness spreading out to fill the whole body. So we're the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out. Everything feels connected. Your mind is here. There's a feeling of ease filling the body. The breath fills the body. That's when you've got a good foundation inside. And then this good foundation is like medicine for the mind, medicine for the body. It's like a cream that you put on your skin to, to cure a rash. If you put the cream on and then wipe it off, it's not going to do much good. You have to put the cream on and then let it stay. Give it time to work its, its magic on the, on the wound, on the rash. And gradually the rash will get better. The same with the breath. You don't just do five minutes and then run off, do something else. Try to stay here consistently as best you can. Even when you get up and walk around, you can still be aware of the breath in the body. And the consistency of your awareness, the steadiness of your awareness, that's medicine. And it's free medicine. It's one of the few medicines they haven't figured out how to privatize. So take advantage of it. We have this breath coming in and going out. And for most people, all it does is just keeps them from dying. But if you pay careful attention to it, it shows that it has a lot more to offer. It can be food for the mind, clothing for the mind, shelter for the mind, medicine for the mind, all the requisites the mind needs. To give it protection, to give it a sense of ease, a sense of well-being. You've got them right here in the breath. When it's combined with your awareness, or alertness and mindfulness, your alertness and mindfulness become healing mental qualities. The breath becomes a healing physical quality. And working together, they can do a lot of good.